Ali, a really good performance and result today, but let's just start with the goal. You seem to enjoy that one. Just talk me through it. No, I did enjoy it for sure. Um, I don't often make my way into the <laughs> opposition's box, but that time kind of just saw a little bit of space, darted in there, and Alex picked me out with a great the great ball and again I feel like at this place that half space ball has been on all the time for us I remember Greg's put in a couple I think for Matt O'Reilly comes to mind Adam Ida as well um, so it just felt like at this ground that's the kind of that's the place you want to attack and again great ball there managed to finish it and in happy days again I think it was a harder one to miss than to score so just glad it went in a really good header good goal um and you, and you scored of course wearing the captain's armband just talk to me about that you know captain and Celtic the pressure responsibility that comes with that and how does it feel obviously to have won convincingly as captain? Mm -hmm. no, that was the big thing is that I didn't want to be the one captain who had a, a losing record for example in my uh, my one appearance as captain but no again um, Cal kind of picked up something at the last minute there um, big CCV was still out Greg as well so I kind of realized that it might be me wearing it and just had to think about my my pregame speech for the huddle uh, the lads were, were good with me there. They didn't put too much pressure on me. So, again, I just wanted to lead by lead by example on the pitch. I'm naturally a pretty big talker, but didn't put any extra pressure on me. Just really wanted to, um, you know, play well, perform well for the team. And, and, again, most importantly, go out there and get three points because it's not an easy place to come, as we've seen over the past couple of years. Um, we normally leave it pretty late here, so it was nice to... To, you know, wrap that one up a little bit earlier. Yeah, um, it's, it's a busy sk schedule we've got just now. Fixtures coming thick and fast. Next up, it's a home game um, in the midweek. How difficult is it because of that sort of tight turnaround to get fully prepared for these matches? It's definitely difficult, but that's why you build a squad like we have. Um, we've got quality littered throughout the squad. You saw it tonight, bringing guys like Luke. Um, and you can just see the quality that he has right from the get-go. You know, uh, it's a lovely individual effort to, to get that first goal and get us going there. Um, so I think that's the really important thing is that no matter how hectic the schedule gets that we've built a squad that has the depth and the quality to be able to manage that um, and not every team in this country can say that um, so it's something that we really need to use to our advantage and I think that we've shown it here tonight and I think we'll continue to show it throughout these next couple of weeks because as you're right as you said it's it is really busy you know there's big match after big match especially with how tight it is at the top right now um, we know that you can't really drop points and then, you know, any league match, it's, it's not a league match, it's, it's a Champions League game, um, which we know how important those are. So we're just taking it day by day, step by step, and believing that anyone that comes in and plays a part is, is going to do their job. And again, we've seen that tonight.